Imagine opening your eyes and the world's still spinning. You're hearing muffled sounds, can't quite remember how you got here, and everything feels slow. Like you're underwater. That is what it feels like to wake up from a knockout. When a fighter takes a clean hit to the chin or temple, the force doesn't just move the head, it actually spins it. Inside, the brain lags just a split second behind the skull. This stretches the brainstem. That's the structure that controls consciousness, by the way. That is the brain's blackout button. This rotational acceleration briefly disrupts the reticular activating system. That's a circuit that keeps you awake and alert. So a knockout really isn't about pain, it's about sudden loss of brain function. And here's the scary part, it doesn't really take a massive hit. If the timing, the angle, and the torque are just right, the lights go out. You've probably seen this. A fighter drops, one arm stiffens awkwardly, sometimes extending outward. That's called the fencing response. That frozen posture is the body's way of reacting to brainstem trauma. So every knockout, even the quick ones, is technically a mild traumatic brain injury or MTBI. And the brain doesn't just bounce back from these right away. Even when fighters sort of wake up fine, their neurons are in chaos, energy depleted, ion channels scrambled, and blood flow can be reduced. That is the invisible damage that we worry about as physicians. What happens after a knockout? This is where return to play protocols come in. After a knockout, you get 30 days, no contact. If there was any loss of consciousness, it could be 45 to 90 days. And sometimes imaging like a CT or MRI is required before clearance, and also could be required a neurological exam and a post-concussion baseline test. A second impact before full recovery can cause what's known as second impact syndrome. This is a rare, but potentially fatal brain swelling. Next time you see someone get knocked out, remember, what looks like a highlight is actually the brain biting to survive.